Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy and in today's video I will be doing Kendra's card challenge with our super sponsor Crafty Krita. So join along and let's get started. And if you didn't know, with Kendra's card challenge you make 15 cards with six sheets of six by six pattern paper following Kendra's sketches and enter them into her Facebook group in order to win a prize. There are other ways, just in case you didn't know, just check Kendra's Patreon listed down below. You can join as a free member and download this fabulous cutting guide and uh, all these sketches for absolutely free. And here's a visual of all of our company sponsors. I'd like to thank each and every one of them. As mentioned before, Crafty Krita is our super sponsor. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. We've got some, I've got some of the foil art here, and I'm going to make two card sketches here today. Um, I've got these little sheets, and I'm going to use this little sort of gingerbread house. So it's pretty big. I will be coloring and fussy cutting that, and then I'm going to foil some snowflakes. And so these are called... Uh, let's see, they're T0145, and I'll be using the snowflakes, and I'll be using black foil and um, a holographic silver foil from Crafty Krita. And for sketch six, okay, so I'm doing sketch six and sketch eight, I believe. <laughs> for sketch six, I'm going to be using these fancy snowflakes. And you'll see I have to change my mind later on, and I'm going to use this kind of light blue color from Crafty Krita. And I start out thinking I'm going to use the deer, but ends up I don't get to use the deer because I break it. But, you know, that's par for the course. And I'll be using this uh, silver wood grain. And I'll be doing some reverse foiling. So I've started out with the little cabin there. And I'm just going to go ahead and run it through my mink machine. And this is going real time because I didn't speed it up. Um... So while we're waiting for that to come through, and we do need to let it cool as well, I'll tell you about the hop. This is a super sponsor hop with several hoppers, and there's a link to the hop playlist listed down below. And so also there's a prize. So if you go ahead and fill out that prize claim form along each hop, you can win a digital prize from Kendra. I'm going to carefully try and get this sticker off. Sometimes they come off easily, sometimes they don't. I probably should have done it before I started the video, but I didn't, so there's that. So I'll just go ahead and trim that excess off there, and then I can use that for smaller projects like sentiments and such. And I'm going to cover this whole piece of paper with foil because I'll be doing some reverse foiling with it. And hopefully I didn't lose that footage. I know I noticed that when I went to edit this that I had apparently thought I'd turn my camera on, but I hadn't. So I'll run this one through the machine, and then I just tape them back with mint tape. And I don't store them in their packages. It's recommended that you do, but I just don't, because I just don't have room in my craft room. So there's that foiled in black. Isn't that pretty? I love the black foil. And then I've got this white, these white toner sheets from Crafty Krita, and I'm going to be reverse foiling onto the white toner sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it down to four, four inches. And then I'll put this other piece back. You want to keep them in their packaging too. So here's the deer, and he's really, really pretty, but I want to reverse foil this. So I'm going to take that waste foil, I'm going to wipe off both the foil and my paper make sure the paper is completely covered and run it once once again through my mini mink um just so you know you still have until the 28th to um be entered to win a your best mate by crafty Krita oiling machine um all you need to do is spend 65 us dollars 100 australian dollars not counting discounts or shipping, and you'll be automatically entered to win. So we want to we want to make sure that that piece cools really well, and then we'll go ahead and foil these little um, kind of funky snowflakes. 
and you want to um, make sure that that is com the other piece is completely cool. And I'm going to foil these with this ho silver holographic foil. And I'm going to cover the entire piece again. And I'll be doing some ink blending on that off camera. So um, you can see that my carrier sheet has gotten toner on it. It doesn't hurt anything, but if it bugs you, you can clean it off with a Mr. Clean eraser or some alcohol. Um, it doesn't bother anything, though. And let's go ahead and get out these snowflakes and get them ready to roll with this sort of beautiful blue foil. And I'll have all the products listed down below. I just can't remember them right here in my brain while I'm doing a voiceover sitting in my bedroom. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and pull this one and just set it aside and get this last one done. Again, you always want to dust them off, and I am using a Swiffer because I feel like it picks up the most debris And then um, versus a brush. We'll go ahead and reveal this beautiful one. Isn't that gorgeous? So they foiled perfectly. Um, Crafty Critic carries both hot foil and toner foil. Now you can see right there on my little deer where it under foiled. And I can fix that if I want to, but let's carry on because you'll see the mistake I make that wrecks it. And um, I basically want to use that silver wood grain that's been foiled. So here's this one. And then I can also reverse foil these snowflakes. And I want to because... You know, the white snowflakes look really pretty with the blue background. So look for future videos where I use their hot foil. And here's what I have so far. My little gingerbread house and my little snowy background. And isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, beautiful. You can step up your your cards with foil just like crazy and there's lots and lots of different ways to use foil so toner foiling what we're doing right now is one way beautiful we'll let that cool before i peel and reveal and we'll go ahead and move on to the next steps so i've got sketch six and sketch eight that i'm going to be doing and my fingers don't want to pick this up it's nice and cool and you want to rip that off quickly oh isn't that beautiful look at that all right so i've colored the um, background off camera and i've got a little piece of paper there and let me just trim this down to make sure it's square and i'll go ahead and glue this piece up to the top just like it calls for in Sketch Aid. And this little piece at the bottom is a little piece of that reversed foil one that I'm using to kind of represent icy water or, you know, like maybe an icy pond. So we'll lay this third strip down. And because this little house is so big, there's no room for a ribbon. So we're going to skip the ribbon because it pretty much covers the whole background and I'm going to go ahead and pop that little house up just add this some low profile foam tape and you're barely going to see that white strip peeking out but you will see it peeking out so it will be kind of like a horizon there's that one now we'll go on to sketch six and um you see what happened to my reindeer there is that I um, didn't make sure my plates were clean. So I ended up getting it dirty <laughs> and I couldn't get the dirt off. So I went another direction and I just went ahead and foiled one of the, um, one of the sentiments from the <laughs> words are hard. One of the sentiments from one of the, um, foil art kits and I'm going to go ahead and back that onto the second piece that I just went ahead and reverse foiled and super super easy card there we go so we've got both foil cards hope you like this tip video if you do give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below and don't forget to enter to win in our hop take care everybody bye bye